Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I guess we do it on Thursday. Yeah. Thursday morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, love mad since Hello. the morning. Around, around <laughs> 11 o'clock. Oh. <laughs> it was 1974, 75. Yeah. I was about 22. I I didn't really know what to do. I, I was thinking of going to law school, but I wasn't sure. A, a friend convinced me to go to New York and try singing, because if I didn't, then I probably would have regrets later on in life. So I did it, and after being in New York for nine months, I'd auditioned for everybody. Nobody wanted me. <laughs> I couldn't get any jobs. I had $50. I couldn't pay my rent. And that was when I decided that I was going to be a singer if it killed me. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I think it has. I see. So, oh, I see. We stop at 40. Yes. Oh, I we dispose I yes. no. no, quella è la prima volta. Sì, ha fatto la la We dispose I turn a fit. Sì. Io faccio il contrario. Sì. Sì. Le facciamo la In 1974 that I met Robert Leonard, who's been my teacher ever since. But in the beginning, I didn't trust him very much. He, he didn't look serious. He had a scraggly beard, and uh, I, he looked too young to know a lot, and so I was very cautious. But uh, after one lesson, I was, I was singing a little better. So little by little, my trust in him grew, and now if he told me to... <laughs> sing Brunhilde, I'd say, well, Robert's right. <laughs> but he would never do it, don't worry. I really do have a passion for knowing the lives of all the, the different sopranos that created and sang my roles. My roles, they're their roles. This is my most recent acquisition, and as yet unframed. That's going to be a real job. It's a scene of uh, Desdemona and Othello appealing to the doge. All these things inspire me. Desdemona was a favorite role of most of the sopranos of the early 19th century. Giuditta Pasta and Giulia Grisi sang it very often. But for the public of this time period, it was Maria Malibran who was most identified with this role.
Rossini's Othello was created in Naples by Isabella Colbran, who later became his wife, by looking at what he wrote for this very individual singer, one can, one can almost hear what she sounded like. Something that I find fascinating, because unfortunately there weren't any pirate tapes back then. Dicendo che vuoi cantare oggi Otello e non lo 